what's up love so I have already deep conditioned and washed my hair so to start off this basic winter wash and go I'm sectioning my hair off into two half sections using my favorite clips now I will take my favorite leave-in at the moment which is the curls blueberry leave-in and apply that to the first half of my hair Next, I'll divide my hair into even smaller sections just to make sure that my hair gets coated in product. So I'll go ahead and apply some more of the leave-in because I find the leave-in is the most important part. That's the part that keeps your hair moisturized, so I really want to make sure that each strand um, is fully coated in the leave-in. And then I'll follow up by using my favorite styler right at the moment, which is the Curls Blueberry Bliss Control Jelly. I love, love, love this stuff. You guys, it smells so yummy and it just makes my curls pop like to the extreme so I love it and my curls they really stay intact for a while using these, this combo here and I think the key part here is to make sure that I do the praying hands method and shingle when necessary just to make sure that each curl pops and to make sure that there is no frizz Once I finish that section, I'll go ahead and move on to the next one. So I'll again um, start off by applying my leave-in and kind of coating my strands that way. And then following up by using my favorite styler at the moment. Um, and it's of course doing the praying hands method and the shingling method. Doing these techniques in a downward motion really helps to elongate your curls. I've noticed that using this combination of both the leave-in and the jelly, it helps my curls stay elongated even when my hair is fully air dried. So not only are my curls super moisturized, but they also have a good amount of hang time, which is every natural girl's dream. <laughs> So now that I am finishing up the first half of my hair, I'm going to go ahead and do the second half off camera just so I don't bore you guys too, too much with all this. <laughs> this is how my hair looks once I have completed both sides. So now it is time to air dry. After a few hours of air drying, I went ahead and bended my hair to stretch my curls out a little bit more. I actually filmed myself bending my hair by accidentally deleted the footage. So I will leave a link below to my nighttime routine video showing you guys exactly how it works. It's a very old video, but the technique hasn't changed at all. So you guys can follow the steps to see exactly how I did this whole bending method. It's very straightforward, very easy, but I use this literally every single night. <laughs> Here I am taking down my bands. It takes about five to 10 minutes or so for me to take down all of the bands, but it's totally worth it because my curls are main bouncy and springy, but they have more length to them, which means I have a even bigger fro. And you guys know by now that I love me a good big fro. <laughs> Now that the bands are out, it's time for me to just fluff and shake until I am completely satisfied. So all I do here is literally just play around with my hair. I pretty much stretch it out, shake, fluff, use a pick sometimes. It doesn't matter. As long as my hair, until my hair gets to my satisfaction, I just play around with it for like the next like five or ten minutes or so. Um, so yeah, just keep playing with your hair until you are satisfied and happy with how it is looking. Do you guys prefer middle parts or side parts? I have a big forehead, so I usually lean to 
lean more towards uh, side parts. But I have been really feeling the middle part with the curly hair. So let me know down below what you guys think. Middle part or side part? What's your favorite? So you guys, that's it for my simple winter wash and go tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys haven't already. Love you guys and thanks for watching and until next time, peace.